Look, Blackie, let's talk about last year. It was probably one of the toughest that you've had um, so far in your career. Yeah, um, obviously when he played the three games last year, um, would have liked to play all of them. Um, but yeah, I guess sometimes it's the way footy goes. And yeah, I just my output throughout the year probably wasn't at the level it needed to be. So um, yeah, it's yeah, just the way it was. And yeah, hopefully this year I can rectify myself and get back into the AFL side. And you know, I'm feeling pretty confident at the moment. So after 25 games in 2014, um, what was the reason, do you think, that you sort of fell out of favour in a way? Um, it's pro- probably a number of things. Like sometimes you always get um, told don't get caught, or don't get in the trap of um, just relaxing. And, you know, once you play a, a, a chunk of senior footy that you're always going to get picked every week. And, you know, I guess at periods I might have had that mentality. Um, and then uh, coming off, I had shoulder surgery at the end of 2014. So pre-season was interrupted, but it wasn't too much. I could still do all the running and all that. It was just all the, the ball skills that you, you miss out on. But, um, yeah, I, I guess... Yeah, I wasn't confident in myself to go out and perform at the level that I know I'm capable of, but I just, yeah, I wasn't confident that I could do that. And um, you just need to set the light at the end of the tunnel, I guess. And, and um, after the break this year, I've actually, I feel really refreshed and, and happy moving forward. And I've, I've got that excitement for footy back. And yeah, I can't wait to start the season again. So at the end of last year, there was a lot of talk about a potential trade um, between yourself and, and another club. Yeah. How did that all sit with you? Um, yeah, well, I guess at the, every player has a meeting at the end of the year, and, and, and I went into mine, and we never, I never demanded a trade or anything like that. It was um, went in there and just felt um, if there was an opportunity at another club that we might look at it. And um, I was never had my intention to walk in there and say, you know, I want to trade. I never did that, um, and I wanted the right thing by North. You know, if it didn't work for North or the other club, then then we wouldn't do it. And the club were really good with that. Um, they, they agreed to that and they made it clear that they didn't want to give me up for nothing. So, um, and yeah, once once that all went through and, and I, I found out, um, it was just, it was a weight off my shoulders. Um, I, I, almost straight away, I, was, I remember I was on holiday with my girlfriend and, and yeah, I just, I felt refreshed after that. And yeah, I felt really, really good. Just probably the hardest I've ever trained in the off season. And yeah, felt determined to get back out there and prove what I can do. So how did you approach it <laughs> at any stage did you tell yourself that you were not going to be a North player anymore or was it the other way around? Uh, yeah, more the other way around. I always um, said to myself that I'm going to be here at North and if anything pops up and uh, you know, I move to another club, then I'll deal with that then. But I always see myself playing for North just for, yeah, that's, that's the way it was. I was still with North and yeah, I'll deal with another club if, if it came up, yeah. So it was across that bridge if, if you got yeah, to a mentality? Well, yeah, if, if it got to that, then, then I would. So, and I think, um, yeah, in hindsight, it was, it was a good thing because I've, I'm prepared to do the work and, yeah, I, I feel, feel pretty good. So there was talk about, you know, you wanting to go back home to play um, in Western Australia, but you're saying that wasn't the case? Yeah, like I said, I never, yeah, I never demanded to say, I never mentioned a club that I wanted to go to if I prefer, preferred to go to anyone because, I, yeah, I didn't. I just... Yeah, we went in there and said, if the op- opportunity comes up and it's the right for us and, and for the North, then, then we'd, we'd go down that path. But yeah, didn't and, eventuate like that. So. And at the start of the 2015 season, um, you know, it was highly publicised that the club had a, a heap of key position players, particularly forwards, and then Jared Waite was also added to that list. Did you know that, um, you know, the challenge was obviously going to be there for you to retain your spot? Uh, yeah, I guess it's... But it's, it's a good thing for everyone to, to come into because the standards of training all lift, you know, everyone's kind of fighting for, for the, you know, we usually play three positions, but that's, this coach, um, Scotty's always said that it's not just the three tools. If it's only working with two, we'll go two. If, if we can play four, we'll play four. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, you see out on the track, you know, if, I know for myself, if I see Wadey or Drew or someone, you know, starting to get their hands on the ball, then I, it makes me want to lift in training and, you know, try and outdo them. So it's a good thing, and I'm, I'm guessing they would have the same mentality as well. So how would you describe your mindset now um, when we take into account what you were feeling throughout last year? Um, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry to get back out and play AFL footy. Um, you know, I got stuck playing in VFL last year, and, um, yeah, it's not, not where I want to play. I, I, I know that I can play at AFL level, and Scotty's, um, he's, yeah, he's behind me, and, and has quite often told me that you know I've just got to 
play good enough, train good enough, and, and I'll be back in the AFL side. So it's, yeah, it's up to me now, and I'm, I'm ready for that.